It's a beautiful day here in New York City. It's November 1st with a sunny high of 69 degrees. They redid this bike path recently. We're on Adams Street, which is the onset to the Brooklyn Bridge. And there we are, downtown Manhattan. We're gonna do a little guided tour today downtown here in New York City. Look at that, straight ahead, the Brooklyn Bridge. Beautiful. You know, there were once different cities, Manhattan and Brooklyn, and then the unification happened when we uh, built this Brooklyn Bridge. Look at these guys. Hey! Oh yeah, did we forget to mention how busy the Brooklyn Bridge is? Because that's a thing. Most New Yorkers scoff at actually taking the Brooklyn Bridge because you know, you have to deal with all this kind of shit. I mean, you'll see. We're just getting started. <laughs> it's always a... Uh, it's always a crapshoot going over this bridge. Seeing what you have to avoid, who you might hit by accident. But I love taking the Brooklyn Bridge, personally. Ah, such a beautiful old New York thing to do. You know, there used to be trolleys in the, uh, where the car lanes are. Collision! That's a dedicated runner. You guys see that? She, like, straight up hit that woman. Yo! Hey! I guess I have to be somewhat tame, because I'm on camera. Yo! And some asshole behind me keeps hitting this bell. I don't know why. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, Blazing Saddles, what's up? Yo! Oh, wow. Yo! Ah. Man, look at that. Got 70 pine. 40 wall, one chase, four world, three world, one world. Ah, ah, ah. No, that was bad. Got downtown Manhattan. Where the buildings are tall and the light is, well, seldom. <laughs> Get the big canyon effect going on downtown where you feel like you're trapped. Yo! That means you. Thank you. All right. Like I was saying, 220 South Street over here. Once a Pathmark supermarket that served the projects of the Lower East Side. What up, dog? Oh my God. And now it's a uh, now it's a high rise for the global elite. Got the wizard hats in full effect today. Is this? I'm about to run over your paintings, boss. In the way. Totally in the way. I'm on your left. There we go. Oh shit. Yo! Yo! That means you. Out of the way. Ah, gotta love the Brooklyn Bridge on a sunny day. Yo! Yo! There we go. All right. Not like it's a bike lane or anything. Get out of the way. Thank you. Ah, it's like it's the first day of spring, except it's uh, November 1st. Did I mention it's 69 degrees today? Global warming, am I right? Here we have a beautiful perspective of the Manhattan Municipal Building. I'm actually gonna take a little detour just to show you guys exactly how cool that building is. And of course, the most important, the mighty Woolworth building. The tallest building in the world for a very long time. And it was built at a time where, uh, no, hold on, I should probably pay attention to where I'm going here. Hey, look at these jack-offs. Yo! Every once in a while, you gotta throw a little shoulder. Yo! 
There we go, out of the way. Oh my God, look how crowded. Oh God. Strollers and pedestrians. And wigs, oh my. Out of the way, NYPD. Oh my God, what a mess. Gotta love the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, so what I was gonna say here, if these people didn't rudely so stop right in my way, city bike, this, this is the Manhattan Municipal Building. I just adore this building, and I'm gonna show you why. First, you can see it all the way down Chambers, but if we cut in here, check this out. Ah, beautiful. What a beauty, except gotta avoid this guy. And, Get a beautiful view of the Woolworth building through here. Built 1913, tallest building in the world. All right, now we're gonna keep on our original route here. Going down Old Newspaper Row, currently known as Park Row. We're straight ahead, you have the American Track Society. Right next to it is the New York Times. And uh, used to have the New York Tribune just in front of those where Pace University is. And then we used to have the New York World right here where the Brooklyn Bridge is built. Oh my God, look at all these people. Like I was saying, Newspaper Row, Park Row, American Track Society, New York Times, Potter Building. These are some of the earliest fireproof buildings built in the 1880s. Some of the first skyscrapers. We've got City Hall, built in the early 1800s. This monstrosity right here, terrible, terrible buildings. Now, it's the first time that these buildings have been crowded in uh, over a century. Just next to it here, 15 Park Row, with the double cupolas up top. Also the tallest building in the world, 1899. Wow, they put a bike lane here? Huh. And now we're coming up on Broadway here. Look at this guy. Hey, going left. And this is Broadway. They put this island here recently. This is St. Paul's Cathedral. And then 222 Broadway, which actually used to be the St. Paul building, another early skyscraper. We've got 195 Broadway here. Lovely building. It was originally a switch building for AT&T, I believe. The Corbin building, recently restored by the MTA. Very nice. For those of you who don't know, downtown Manhattan was developed, well, New York City in general, was developed from the bottom up. Hey guys, green light, hey. Started at the bottom and worked its way up. Here in like Union Square, in the 20s even. The streets, I mean, it was farmland. All farmland. We have some beautiful buildings right here, except these are covered in scaffolding right now. The Thames, uh, the Thames Twins, U.S. Realty, and Trinity Buildings. And this big guy here is the Equitable Building. Really lovely, except it's covered in uh, wood right now. The old Trinity Church. Gotta love Trinity Church. You know, the tallest point in Manhattan for many years. Good old Wall Street. We get one Wall Street also being converted into condos. 71 Broadway, U.S. Steel Building. Another early pre-turn of the century skyscraper. Looks like I'm gonna get cut off by this bus here. So we're just gonna do one of these and get by. I forget what they call this, Heroes Row, something like that. You get such a canyon effect here. Hey, my guy. We could take Broadway. Yeah, we'll take Broadway. I was gonna take Whitehall Street here, but you know. Got the bullshit bowl. This is the Bowling Green. Some other early skyscrapers of downtown. And coming up on the Alexander Hamilton U.S. Customs House. Beautiful bazaar building. Lovely. Into Battery Park here. Why don't we take a little loop? around the battery. This is Battery Place and Battery Park. Not to be confused with Battery Park City, which is over that way. 
which is landfill used only created from the excavation of the original World Trade Center in the, uh, in the 70s. Staten Island Ferry, not really worthy of any mention, except if you want to get drunk and take a free boat. Uh, uh, um. Battery Place turns into Water Street, the end of Whitehall right here. And where should we cut in? Let's take Broad Street. Broad Street up here, believe it or not, Broad Street actually used to be a canal. Hence the name Broad Street. It's a broad canal. And here we go, up through here. This is Broad Street. <clears throat> you got Wall Street and the Stock Exchange up ahead. To go through a series of security barriers and all that. We're gonna skip on that. Mainly because I want you guys to see my favorite perspective of one of my favorite buildings. This is South William Street. Leading into William Street hitting Beaver, but if you look up right now, in just a sec, you're going to see 20 Exchange Place. That's the Citibank and Farmers Trust building. Built in 1927, one of the three original, in my opinion, big skyscrapers of downtown. 40 Wall Street, nice little perspective there. Which way are we going to take? Let's so take William. 40 Wall right up there. 40 Wall Street, now called the Trump Building. Trump just bought it and put his name on it, kind of like the rest of his Ponzi scheme bullshit. It's originally the Bank of Manhattan. Not to be associated with Trump. Here we are, coming up on Wall Street. Uh, so to our right, if you look up, you're going to see the city's service tower, or 70 Pine Street. This is one of my favorites. Big, big building. The last one built before the Great Depression. Completed 1932. Really lovely. You know, I used to live right here in high school. Actually, two different apartments on Pine Street. And boy, has it changed down here. Uh, hey, why don't we get a cup of coffee? It's a great cafe. Two things that go hand in hand. Coffee and bikes. Also, if you're in the United States, don't forget to vote November 6th very important for the future of our humanity. <laughs> it's looking pretty bleak recently. It's just coffee talk, you know. <sighs> Gotta love having coffee. Back on Water Street here. We're gonna make a left on John Street here. Be a little bit of a salmon. Just gotta watch out for this bus. No problem. John Street, we've got 111 John and 116 John right here. Beautiful skyscrapers. Watch out, business guy. And here we have another lovely perspective of 70 Pine Street here, city service tower, where we just got coffee. The old Pearl Diner. Not really anything to call home about there, but it does still exist. Coming up on Maiden Lane, where we're gonna go west. Uh, got all one Chase Plaza, just up ahead to the left. Uh, you know, street direction is somewhat irrelevant down here. It's all so tight, at least on a bike. I mean, in general, you can just go wherever you want. We just did a little loop. We're coming back to where we just started. Back to Pine Street. And like I said, this is 
one chase plaza here and then up to my left is 40 wall street and we got this box truck right ahead of me and i can't really go around him maybe maybe we can make the squeeze Uh, straight ahead, with the lights hitting this building, that's 120 Broadway, the Equitable Building, which is the dominant reason why New York City buildings scale upward as they grow in mass. Because if you look at that, it is a straight vertical face. No setbacks. Built in 1916. And there was public outcry for blocking out all of the light to the street. Ah, uh, actually, we're going to go a different way. Back around Trinity Church, and instead of going down, we're going to cut around onto Trinity Place, which turns into Church Street, and takes us right past the World Trade Center. And it's quite the atrocity that they built a shopping mall on top of a graveyard, but, you know, who's counting? It's actually quite American, if you think about it. It's just fucked up. Anyway, back to the tour. Now, we're going to take a little street here. It's kind of like the thought of a street. It's called Exchange Place. And it can get a little hairy. And already, my, <laughs> my way onto the street is blocked. But well, let's see. That's right, stick them. <laughs> Got a stick on my head. Yo! Exchange place, coming through. Church Street. Looking straight ahead. We've got the Trinity Building that I mentioned before. And Four World and Three World Trade Center, along with Two Rector. And if you look to the right, a beautiful perspective of One Wall Street, along with a beautiful skyline. If you look up this way, you can see Trinity Church, 40 Wall, and 70 Pine, and 10 Wall. Really lovely. Now, it can get a little hairy here on Church Street with the buses and the people and everything else. So, if you've ever ridden a bike down here, I know you've gotten wedged on this street between two buses because it's just bound to happen. Oh, wow, look what's open. This has never been open. Wow, this is the first time I've come through this way. And if you look straight up, we're between Four World and Three World Trade. Wild. Here we are. The biggest gravesite in the world. This is One World Trade. Lots of police. $4 billion down the drain. Calatrava's Oculus. Bunch of bullshit if you ask me. This is now what people think of as the World Trade Center. Yep. But from here you get a lovely perspective at 15 Park Row. St. Paul's Chapel. This is 30 Park Place. That's a new one. Went up recently. Now we're going to go back up 6th Avenue here. This is always a very hairy place to be riding. Hey, you know what? What is a downtown tour without going through City Hall Park? Ah, oh, no high fives today. 
230 Park Place, 233 Broadway, Woolworth Building. Straight ahead of me, Frank Geary's building, 12 Beekman. And we're gonna go to the fountain in City Hall Park. Now this fountain actually used to be, or not used to be, it was the first place you could get running water in New York City. Now they don't have the fountain on today, unfortunately, but these gas lamps are usually on with real fire. And if you look over there now, you can actually see City Hall in the sunlight now. I mentioned it before when we were coming down, but now you can actually see it. I believe it was built 1812, straight ahead. Now this is Beekman Street. Now on Beekman Street, you also have some lovely old architecture. Right here is the Potter Building. This is the old Temple Court. And actually, I should run inside and show you guys real quick. So I'm just gonna leave my bike here, like I always do, just laying down in the street, unlocked, and show you just how incredible this building is on the inside. Now, the most incredible part of this building is this original atrium. Now this was the biggest building, office building in the world. It took 10 years to build, 1880 to 1890, the Temple Court, really lovely. And now it's a hotel, and this is a public atrium. Pretty cool, very expensive, not for me. Wow, look at that, my bike magically. Oh, wow. What does that say? Hotline. I think I know that guy. Buy the stickers. <laughs> yeah, did you know you could get your own hotline sticker? Anyway, Temple Court, Potter Building, another old skyscraper here. And now we're going on to Nassau Street, the wrong way here. Very treacherous, as you can see, with this Empire Merchants truck. Ah, and if you look straight ahead, you can see a beautiful old cast iron skyscraper. Ah, I forget the address, but this is a Fulton Street address. Straight ahead is One World Trade. You see this shit? Damn, bro. I know you see me fucking over here, man. Yeah, and you see me, but you still open your door, man. Come on, guy. Tell me how that's right. It ain't. Ah, <sighs> you know, that's just something we deal with on the daily here in New York City. They see you, and they still tread on you. What can you do? Well, you know, I could do loops down here all day and keep seeing new things, but, you know, does it really make sense to keep explaining? This has been the, the first, potentially, of many downtown tours, or tours of New York City. If you like these, let us know in the comments. I'm Cooper Ray. This is Terry Berenston, in the flesh. I hope you enjoyed the video. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.